Hi, I'm Josh from Sharepad, and in this tutorial, let's have a look at the market view. To get started, we can access market view by clicking on the globe icon in the top toolbar. Closing market view will take you back to exactly where you left off. Alternatively, if on a PC, we can use the F9 shortcut instead of the globe icon. Market view can be displayed as a full screen or as a blue view. To change this, head over to Settings, Preferences, and then on the Views tab, next to Market View, switch between Full Screen and Blue View. Whilst on a Blue View, we can click on an instrument to see it in the corresponding green views, which can be especially useful for getting a better look at some of the rises and fallers. To quickly bring up the alternative display option, we can press Shift whilst opening Market View. Market View has some pre-built settings such as Commodities, Gilts and Bonds, and UK Economic. These can be accessed from the bottom toolbar or by clicking on the setting menu and then on the setting you wish to be taken to. Let's take a quick look at some of the other things we can do from the settings menu. We can click on Create New to create a new setting, so let's call this one Test. We can also copy this setting, rename it, or add it to the toolbar, or delete the setting. So now onto the design customization options available for both the pre-built and newly created settings. Let's click design in the bottom left and start off by adding in some sections. Just drag and drop from the not currently displayed area to the active sections area. I'm going to start off with prices, then rises and fallers, forex, my portfolios, and we'll add price menu charts there. As you can see, we can have more than one section on the same level. If we now click OK, we'll get a rough idea of the structure of this setting, but we need to add in the markets and instruments. So let's head back over to Design and then first to the Prices tab. We can click on the Add button and search for our first instrument, GlaxoSmithKline, and then add it in. Let's next head over to Mini Charts. This time we're going to add in Unilever. Click OK, and then this time we're going to add it in twice. This might be worth considering because we can click on one of the tiles and change the time frame, the scale, and the color scheme. So we'll make this first one be a one month time frame and have it denoted in red. And the second one be one year and denoted in green. And we'll do the exact same thing again for GlaxoSmithKline. One month denoted in red. And the second one being a one year denoted in green. If we now quickly click on preview, we can see our progress so far without leaving the design menu. We could then click OK or click cancel to undo the changes. But let's keep going. Next on to risers and fallers. Going to click the add button and then add in the FTSE 100, AIM 100, NASDAQ 100, and add in some retail funds as well. Here we can change the number of rises and fallers shown for each list, so I'm going to quickly change this to 8. Let's next head over to FX, short for Forex, and add in some currencies. Here we just need to click on all of the currencies that we want to see the exchange rate pairings for. We can even add in some cryptocurrencies, so let's add in Bitcoin and XRP. Last but not least, let's head over to My Ports, or My Portfolios. We can decide here if we want to compare them against the benchmark, and we can change the benchmark by clicking on Select here, and then searching for a new one. So let's take a look in Major Indices, and then search for the FTSE 350. If we now click OK, we'll get to see all of the changes we've made. I'm not quite done yet, I want to go back into design and then change the structure again. So if I do that now, rises and fallers at the top, followed by prices and price mini charts, and the forex and my portfolios. OK, so now I'm finished with all of the changes that I'd like to make to this test setting. As previously mentioned, you can make design changes to any of the settings, including the pre built If you need to restore one of these, Click on the setting menu and then restore settings to defaults and then click on the reset button next to any that you've modified. Become a better investor at SharePad and discover the advantage. 
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more quick tips, features and tutorials.